chapter 5.3 wedge block and the dimensions are in inches once you've created your part you're going to go to file new make sure you're in the English tab ANSI inches IDW then choose create you're going to go to base and again yours may not come in like this but you have the ability to move this around with this cube up and down left and right and that's where I want it right now but I'm going to change the scale and I'm going to type in 1.5 then I'm going to left click left click left click to get my other views and hit OK then I'm going to left click and hold that down and that looks pretty good then I'm going to go to annotate center mark click the outside of that circle go to bisector click one two go come over here one two and then we're ready to put dimensions on and I'm gonna go from the bottom to the center drop that in this side to the center drop that in give it a diameter I'm gonna come over here and put my height here my depth here I'm gonna click this line and this line get my angle come over here and I'm gonna click the top of this line and the side of this line to get this angle. Here, I'm going to get the depth. Here to the edge for my length. I'm going to select right here where it turns green, that point, and this point. Get this. Same deal here, up to the green point, click that, put it in, um, select this line to that point, drop that in, and seeing if I'm missing anything here, I need to go here to here, select OK, in that slot and drop it in and I'm thinking that's pretty much all I need got my height here here I'm gonna come here text put your name here highlight it drop down select hit OK title click in that area this is going to be chapter 5.3 highlight it drop down OK click over here type in material colon space carbon steel highlight it drop down select hit OK hit escape twice hold down my left mouse move that over same thing here move that to the center and this one and that completes chapter 5.3